What's going on, fight fans? This your boy DG, representing the ASAP Boxing Talk, and today we're going to talk about Tank Javante Tank Davis versus Leo Santa Cruz. This will be a fight for the WBA Super Featherweight title and the WBA Lightweight title, man. Hey, what, what can I say about this fight, man? It's, it's some sparks that's going to fly, man. You got uh, Leo Santa Cruz, who is the WBA uh, Super Featherweight Champion. You got him at 37-1-1, 19 knockouts. You got Javante Tank Davis. Uh, he is the WBA Lightweight Champion. Uh, you got him coming in at 23 wins, zero losses, zero draws, and 22 by knockout. Um, see, you know, you know what, man? This is one of them fights where you, you really got to throw the book away, man. You can't, you can't really sit down and and look at numbers and analyze this fight because this fight is not going to be told between the numbers. Um, like I said. Javante, he got 22 knockouts. He's a slick boxer, power puncher, super aggressive. Then you got Leo Santa Cruz. Um, his whole game plan is built on stamina. He's super active in the ring, um, and he's a pressure fighter. So, um, to be honest, my personal thoughts is that this fight is going to be won in the training camp. You understand what I'm saying? The fight is going to be one. And you know what? Before I even get to that, let me let me jump. Let me let me let me let me go back a little bit. Um, Leo Santa Cruz, his his notable fights. He got the two fights versus Carl Frampton, where they split fights. Very great fights. If you haven't uh, seen him, check them out. And his two fights between uh, Abner Mares, very good fights. Once again, you haven't seen him, check him out. Those are, in my opinion, those are Leo Santa Cruz's defining fights so far. My boy Tank. You got uh, Jose Pedraza. Remember, Jose Pedraza was like 22-0. and 0. Um, He beat Jose Pedraza for the lightweight championship, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, might have been a super featherweight. I'm not sure. Uh, and then you got his last fight, which was the, I believe, the 11th round knockout or 12th round knockout of Yuri Okas Gamboa. Uh, Gamboa was a little bit over the hill. Um, we knew going into that fight that Gamboa was not going to beat Tank. That was... That wasn't a 50-50 fight, and if anybody felt like that, then, you know, they, they choose the size. But we knew that wasn't a 50-50 fight. However, the Pedraza fight, you know, we thought, we also seen some things out of Tank. I believe he knocked Pedraza out in seven, but um, we knew Pedraza was a tough fight, in my opinion. That was a 50-50 fight. Well, at least going into the fight, that was a 50-50 fight. And so, I said that, which is going to bring me back to where, I am, where I'm at now. The fight between Leo and, and Tank... This will be the toughest fight for either of those fighters. Both of them will be the toughest fight for either for each other uh, to date. Um, the reason why I say the fight is going to be won in training camp because you got Leo's chin versus Tank stamina, point blank period. Like I said, and that's why I said you got to throw all, let's throw all the, pox, the the politics out, man. You got can Leo Santa Cruz's chin stand up to Tank's punch? Can Tank's stamina stand up to Leo's stamina and his aggressiveness and his pressure fighting style, right? Um, in my opinion, in my personal opinion, um, if this fight goes past five rounds, first of all, in my personal opinion, this fight is not going twelve. Point blank, period. This fight will not go twelve. We wouldn't. We will. The judges they they can take the day off. It, this this is going to be a knockout. And I'm gonna tell you this: if the fight is within five, I got Tank. Tank is gonna the tank will close the, if tank is going to close this show, it's going to be within five rounds. Because of Leo Leo Santa Cruz's uh pressure fighting style, he will get his chin tested early. And Leo Santa Cruz is one of those guys that he will be there for you to hit. He will be there. He's he's not a backup guy. He's gonna bring the pressure. And we know Javante Davis is not a backup fighter either. So with Leo, um, it, it's really all about his chin, man. If Leo Santa Cruz chin can stand up to Javante Tank uh to Tank's punch. It's going to be a long night. Like I said, uh, Tank done been in the ring with 23, 22 done been out of there. So we haven't seen really a fighter that can take Javante Davis's punch, that, that could take a punch from Tank, um, or that could withstand a barrage from Tank. Um, but also, being honest, got to be honest about it, we've seen Tank winded during several fights, man. Um, during the Gamboa fight, obviously, most recently, we seen maybe, I think it was about two or three rounds where Tank didn't throw more than, I believe, or 10 or 15 punches during the round. Um, during Leo Santa Cruz, in a Leo Santa Cruz fight, you're not going to be able to do that. Point blank, period. You cannot take a round off in, uh, with, with a Leo Santa Cruz. And the biggest issue that the boxing world 
has with Javante Tank Davis, uh, beyond the beyond the competition that he's faced already, um, I know a lot of people do have questions about the, the level of competition that he's faced so far, but it's that stamina. Can he keep up with Leo? If Javante could, if Tank could keep up with Leo, it's gonna it's gonna be a long night, man. And and this this is what this is I think this is um in in my opinion this is gonna take either of these fighters either of these fighters and put them on a pound for pound list. If Tank can, uh if if Tank can show that he has the stamina to go to rounds to go to distance and to remain active during the rounds, that's that's the thing. A lot of times you know people talk about, hey, he went this far with Gamboa. But we got to look at the rounds. We got to look at his activity through those rounds. Javante D Tank Davis is a heavy guy. And I don't want to say heavy guy, but he's, he's a massively built guy. And he can't throw those punches. He can put those punches in bunches. But in those later rounds, he will taper off. He will taper off. He will take a round off. He will do that. You know, against Leo Santa Cruz, you cannot do that. So like I said, um, I think Leo Santa Cruz's biggest chance to win is the punch and clinch technique. Um, you get because Javante Davis, he's not a wild puncher. He's not gonna come in there wild. He's he's gonna be calculated. You know, he's gonna fire off the jab. He's gonna set you up for power punches. But if Leo Santa Cruz can come in aggressively, you know, get a couple, get a combination in and clinch up with Tank, uh, you know, and then never really let Tank get into that rhythm because once Tank get into that rhythm, you you, you cooked, you cook food, you cook food, and, and you're going to sleep. So I don't know what uh, Santa Cruz's game plan is, but I do know. If if they clinch, you know, if they if they use like the punch and clinch technique where they, you know, he throwing a couple shots and then clinching up so Tank can't get, you know, uh, real get comfortable. And if he's moving around a lot on Tank, man, we'll, we'll, we'll see, man. This is going to be a great fight. My prediction, I don't see it going past five. My personal prediction, I just I just don't see Leo Santa Cruz standing up to that punch power. I just can't see it. We know he has a chin. Yes, he does. I mean, we've seen in the Frampton fights and the Mares fights. We know that this guy has a chin. We know that Leo has a chin. But we also know that none of the guys that he's fought has had the power of a, of a Tank Davis, point blank period. So, I mean, my prediction, I see it in four, man. I got Javante in four. Javante, he's going to close the show in four. Um, as I said earlier, if the fight goes past five, I think Leo's going to stop him. You heard it here first. If, if Javante Tank Davis can be stopped, it will happen this fight. And it will happen after the fifth round. Uh, that pressure style, man. That pressure style that that you you, you can't. I, it's certain things that you can't train for, man. You you can't you can't train for a guy to be on you all twelve. You understand? You can't you can't train for a guy's chin, right? We 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 can't train for the reaction or for the for the state of mind that it will possibly put Tank in if he hits Leo Santa Cruz with his best shot and Leo Santa Cruz keeps coming forward. So. It's a couple things. That's why I said throw the book away because it's, it's a it's a couple things that you're not going to be able to see about this fight on paper. It's a couple things that you we literally have to wait until we get in the ring to see. You know, so um, I mean we'll we'll, we'll see, man. So like I said, um, you got my prediction. You got Tank and four. If the fight goes past five rounds, I think easy not say easily, but I think that Leo Santa Cruz will stop Tank. So um, we'll see, man. You know, either way. I need you guys to, you know, like, comment, subscribe, you know, tell your people about it, you know, come and check me out, man. This your boy DG with the A-Side Boxing Talk. I'll holla.